sentence, let us learn about selecting and editing the text. After typing the text in a document, you may want to make some changes in the text. Making changes in a document is called editing. Before performing any action like copying, moving, finding and replacing, deleting or formatting the text, we need to select the text. The selected text is displayed on the screen in a highlighted bar. To select a block of text, we can use the selection area, which is the blank area in the left margin of the document. We can select the text in a variety of ways. Now let us understand how to select the text using mouse. To select a word, the method is to double click on the word. To select a sentence, the method is hold down the control key and click anywhere on the sentence. To select a paragraph, the method is triple click anywhere in the paragraph or double click in the left margin of the paragraph. Now select a large block of text, you have to click at the beginning of the text. Press the shift key and without releasing it, click at the end of the text. To select entire document, the method is click anywhere in the selection area while holding down the control key or triple click in the selection area. Ok, let us talk about inserting the text. Microsoft Word allows the users to add new text to an already existing document. Place the cursor to the right of the character where you want to insert the text and then start typing. The existing text which is present after the cursor will be shifted to the right side. Now let us learn how to move the text. This feature is used to move the text from its original location to a new location. Select the text you want to move. Click on the cut button in the clipboard group on the home tab or press Ctrl plus X. The text disappears from the document and is temporarily placed on the clipboard. Position the cursor at the location where you want to place the selected text. Click on the paste button or press Ctrl plus V. The selected text appears at the desired location. Now let's learn how to copy the text. Copy and paste option are used to duplicate the text. We can copy the text not only from one location to another within a document but also from one document to another. This feature helps in reducing our time and effort in typing. The only difference between copy or paste and cut or paste features is that the copy feature copies the text but does not remove the text from its original place as the cut feature does. Select the text you want to copy. Click on the copy button in the clipboard group on the home tab or press Ctrl plus C. A copy of the selected text is placed on the clipboard. Position the cursor at the desired place. Click on the paste button in the clipboard group on the home tab or press Ctrl plus V. The copy text appears at its new location in the document. Students, do you know the fact that clipboard is a temporary storage area in Windows that allows you to store, cut, copy and paste data while switching between the applications? Up to 24 multiple text and graphical items could stay on the office clipboard until you exit office applications. After exiting the office applications, the last item that you copied stays back in the clipboard. Alright students, let us talk about deleting the text. What provides the facility to erase the text? Follow these steps. Select the text. Press the delete key. The selected text will be removed. 
you can also delete text by using the backspace key. It removes the character to the left of the cursor position. To delete a block of the text, select the text and then press either the delete key or the backspace key. Students press Ctrl plus delete and Ctrl plus backspace key combinations to delete one word to the right and one word to the left respectively.